Hello to my Capricorns. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel today. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take with us and leave the rest also. Please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Plus, I now am offering a $25 personal read. It can be a read of any sort, love, money, general. If you want to, you can book that with me by emailing me. I'm going to leave the email in the uh, comment section. Please take advantage of that while you can because I am going to change the price very soon. It's just like a beginner special. Everybody's loved it thus far. I just want to give everybody a chance from every sign to get at least three readings before I change it. So yeah, check me out. First card out, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay. Okay. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss that with each other. Okay, so yeah, you guys need to talk about the fact that why y'all not feeling each other. Or why one person is not feeling the other. One more card, Spirit. Codependency. Yo, fuck. I must be intuitive, too. I mean, what are those people that see shit before it happened? I've seen this card coming. I literally dead-ass seen this card. Because I felt like that's why it was unrequited. Because somebody is a little bit too codependent on the other person. And that's exactly what came out. Thank you, Spirit, for being so in tune with my highest energy. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Spirit. Please give me some cards to clarify the situation, please. Okay, so there's someone who is sneaking around. First card out is the Seven of Swords. Woo! Second card out is the fucking devil. I mean, this could be you, but this is still operating not on the best light. Okay, so somebody is in deep thought about this. Because they want to work it out. And they want to pass a new start. Could be you with them. But with the hermit here, somebody just isn't speaking. Yeah, they're waiting to see what the fuck is going to happen. All right, so we have the, this vindictive motherfucker here. Could be you. Could be them. Take your high resonates. But vindictive person here. Doing some underhanded, sneaky shit operating from their dark side. Which we all have done. So I'm not going to sit up here and bash you. But if you know you a sneaky motherfucker, then you know you a sneaky motherfucker. And that's just that. Okay. Now, if it ain't you, then it's your person. And they know they a sneaky motherfucker. I hate when people be like, oh, my God, why are they doing this? They know why they doing it. Because they operating at the dark side. Like, they're selfish. They just want what they want. Yeah, this person is walking away. They're the ones that's having unrequited love here. Why are they walking away? <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be triggering. It's going to be triggering. Just letting you guys know now I had to clear that energy because I almost got mad as fuck when I seen that. This person is walking away with be, to be with somebody else. Somebody else that they have a connection with that they love. The lovers. They're walking away. They chose to be with someone else. Okay. I'm sorry, Capricorn. Nine of Cups fell out in reverse. They weren't happy here with you. I'm sorry. There's no other way for me to say it but to be honest. And you guys come here for truth, and I'm going to give you the fucking truth. And if it's your story and it resonates, fine. And if it's not your story and it doesn't resonate, why the fuck would you want it to resonate? You don't have to dislike it. Just walk off. But if it is your story and it hurts, okay, I understand that it hurts. But thank me for the truth. Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, I feel like this is you trying to think about what the fuck is going on, how it happened, trying to figure out if it's something that you can balance out. I feel like you have some deep emotions for this person, but you realize that this person kept a lot from you. Man, they had you in a third-party relationship with this Three of Pentacles here. And this person didn't even give a fuck. Did you see you smiling? 
That's why the devil is here. Because he's he seen the both of y'all both working for his affection. And here he is up here just watching you like, yeah. Yeah. Could be you, but you know. Yeah. This person had a side chick. Queen of Wands here. This person had somebody else that they were passionate about. Look, that they fell in love with. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is the page of wands here? You want you want a new start with this person, but you're stressed. Yeah, because this person moved away. They left. And yeah, they're not talking to you, but you're very passionate about a new start with this person. Look at the judgment at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to find out how exactly you can get this person back because they were your happiness. But there's too much conflict here because there were too many fucking people. And this person chose the one of them. So now you're trying to figure out what you can do. But again, every it feels like every time you try to do something, it's more shit. Another tarot moment arrives. And now you're confused because you're like, I've tried everything. That's because it's not for you to try anymore. It's not for you to try anymore. Okay, let's get some energy on this person. The person that you're thinking about. Please, Spirit, give me some energy for this person that my Capricorn is thinking about, please. Please give me some energy for this person that Capricorn is thinking about, please. Please give me some energy for this person that Capricorn is thinking about. Too many. Way too many. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to take those. But they meant to come back out. They will. Okay, Spirit, give me some energy on who my Capricorn is thinking about. The Empress. It could be someone that you had a child with, someone that's pregnant, someone who you want to grow with. These are all the symbolic things of this card. But this person, again, they, ooh, I'm seeing they could have went towards someone that they got pregnant. Yeah. They feel stuck, though. Because I feel like they just found out that this person is pregnant, if that's what it is. Yeah, and this was on one of their endeavors where they were being a fucking player. Hmm. Yep. While they were being a fucking player, they made a goddamn baby. Yep. Ace of Pentacles. So they felt like they had to offer this person something. Maybe they wanted the baby or... I don't know. But yeah, so that's what happened. So we're going to get some... Uh, we're going to get the conclusion and we are going to get some advice. Because that was crazy. Okay, so give me some advice for my uh, Capricorn, please. Any advice for my Capricorn? Okay, so I see... I see it being too burdening for you and you turning around and walk away. I feel like you're going to be in your head a lot about this. It's going to fuck you up. You might not even know that this is going on. You're still passionate about this person. I feel like your third eye is on fire though. You know that there's something more to the story. You might even have an inkling that somebody might be pregnant or somebody else is just in a picture. Well, you, they are. What is the advice? Go for your happiness, no matter what it takes. Work on dealing with yourself and loving yourself. Yeah, look at this. Work on work on a relationship that you have with God's spirit and source. They've been trying to talk to you with the hangman, but you have to look at things from a different perspective to hear them. Trust me, I know. It took me years. I'm 30. It did just fall from the ceiling. But I can remember um, I was about five or four, and I kept asking my grandmother, like, like, why am I here? Like, what's what's my purpose of being here? 
that's when you know that your purpose is different from everybody else's everybody else was like oh when i grow up i want to be a firefighter or when i grow up i want to be a, a doctor and i was sitting here like i guess i'm gonna say what they say but deep down inside i never knew what it was that i wanted to do because my path wasn't something that you just were born with and you just knew that this no you had to be awakened to this it's always inside of you but see my aunt she was she was a um a spiritualist and i used to be like what's all these weird fucking smells in here and why are you why do you rub that shit on you and why do you do that and it took a year after she died for me to become awake and i almost feel sad because i feel like it was passed down from me to her or it took for her to be one of my angels in order for me to realize what it meant and then a year after she passed away my grandmother passed away and then that's when i started really reading cards and understanding so yeah thank you guys